Weather with meteorologist David Burgett. Well, with a nice surprise today, we saw the sun come on out and just graced up the, all of that vitamin D. And we're seeing some nicer temperatures tonight, a little, little warmer we're experienced even here right now in Rochester at 42 degrees. We do have clear skies right now as we make our way into the transition of nighttime here. But we did see some sunshine and we were just two degrees near our average for this time of year. We hit a high of 47 here in Rochester and our average for November 2nd is 49 degrees here and those clear skies right now are cooling us off a little bit here across the region. We're seeing mid 40s right if you're south of the I-90 corridor 39 now into Dodge Center. So we're seeing some temperatures that are slowly cooling on down over the over the course of this evening. We are going to be seeing some cloud coverage. It's kind of moving off towards western Wisconsin along the I-90 corridor in terms of the more eastern sections. We have another band of cloud coverage coming along the I-35 corridor and we we'll continue to see that cloud coverage build into the overnight hours tonight as we have more cloud coverage coming from North Dakota and into our region. So we can expect some more cloudier conditions for tomorrow and some sunshine too. But going through tonight, we'll see that cloud coverage start to increase really through those early morning hours and into the overnight. We are going to be seeing warmer temperatures with a chance of some stray, stray chances of some showers and rain into early next week possibly this weekend too. So tracking this out for you this, tonight, we are seeing wind speeds out of the southwest now, keeping our temperatures into the upper upper 30s according to this model and lower 40s across the region right now. We'll continue to see that cloud coverage slowly build into the overnight hours into the early morning. And I think we're this is over projection on this model on this cloud coverage. I think we should see a little less into the early morning hours as we transition from your Thursday into Friday for temperatures overnight to be into the low 30s. But tomorrow morning we'll be warming up into the mid 30s and then tomorrow afternoon we'll get some breaking in the cloud coverage here with temperatures into the high 40s here in Rochester right on the average for this time of year. And as we continue through tomorrow night, We'll see temperatures into the stood around the upper 30s and wind speeds will be out and wind direction will be out of the northeast at that point and we'll continue to see the temperatures tumble into the lower 30s over the course of tomorrow night. So we'll be seeing temperature trend for the next week around the average for Friday and depending on cloud coverage on Sunday and Monday, we could be above average or right around the average into the low into the low 50s here. And then we're going to continue to see our next rain chances, maybe some stray sprinkles into the morning over an overnight hours and tomorrow morning for your Friday. But Sunday and Tuesday skipping every other day. Now we're going to be seeing some evening stray chances of some rain because of those warm temperatures. If you did not know but the Climate Prediction Center has is predicting for us to be above average in terms of our temperatures for the next two weeks here for until November 16th and our precipitation chances. They're going to be pretty much on average for this time of year for the next two weeks across southeastern Minnesota and northern Iowa. So tonight we are going to be seeing 32 degrees for that low and that increasing cloud coverage. And for tomorrow we'll see warmer temperatures across the region pretty much on average for us here and our clocks are now rolling back this week and we are going to be seeing some the sunrise start an hour earlier and the sunset is going to be about an hour or er, uh, hour earlier too in terms of the sunset so less sun sun to go around for us in the evening hours but the course of this week we'll see that warming trend continue and some nicer temperatures and, and some rain chances so we're gonna now we're gonna send it over to julian